Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more it's Leo speaking. Today it's about responding to a request from one of the subscribers on how to use uh, uh, Loopy Pro as a live looper and how to pre-record some loops and configure it a little bit so that you can move from one set of loops to the next set of loops and have that done inside your studio and then use that for example live in your band so the recording is done at your own studio. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. So I just created uh, a new uh, project inside Loopy Pro and I went to the mixer and removed uh, the uh, microphone so that it doesn't interfere with the recording. So next I'm going to use some virtual instruments instead of actually connecting a hardware instrument to Loopy Pro, but of course you can do that if you need so. So I'm going to use all the units. The first one will be uh, Bliss Alpha, like so. Then I'm going to choose another one like uh, Hammerhead and then also a third one, why not? And we're going to choose a grand piano. And this is just for the purpose of the tutorial. We go inside the hammerhead and we remove that uh, plane of the patterns. Next, we ensure the destination to the, in terms of colors are correct. So for Bliss Alpha, I'm going to have a destination only the orange color, for hammerhead uh, only the uh, yellow color, and then for uh, um, the grand piano, the uh, green colors. Okay, then next, what I would probably do is go in edit mode here and keep it simple for the tutorial. So remove the colors, which I'm not going to use, then expand here to the left, then add a button and then resize it a little bit. So click and hold. So you show these uh, four corners so you can resize it. Oops. And let's resize this like that. Okay. And then let's create another one as well. Then what I would do, and I showed this in another tutorial, I would click on that pencil there to create an action when you press that button and the action will be to solo. The target will be specific clips, the uh, top ones. So the like so on that row. And I will ensure also the solo context is to all loops so that when that row, when you push that button, these rows of clips is selected and all the others are muted. And I will repeat the process for the next button like so, nice and simple. But I will of course would choose the uh, second row as well, like that. And then I would ensure the solo context again is set to all loops. Perfect. Let's go back to the looping view. Next, I would set a tempo and that would be my preference instead of having a Loopy Pro to determine that. I would probably also set two bars. That's my preference and also activate the metronome. Next, what probably I would do is to set a fixed amount for the length of each loop, like two bars in this case. And I will repeat that process for all the um, loop loops like so okay and so let's try to do this quickly like so we've done the first row and let's do the next one like so and you see it will show you the fixed number of bars at the top which is um really nice okay almost done um, okay perfect okay at this point uh, it's very simple because you can bring up uh, uh, each instrument from the bottom here and start the recording. And when you click on the circle, it will use, of course, the count in for recording, which is set by default to the master up here, which I set it to two bars. And then you can move from one uh, loop to the next one and you can solo, etc. So let's try recording, for example, um, the drums for both uh, loops here for the yellow color. So I'll bring this up like so, and then I have the keyboard and then I start recording. So as you can see, I have recorded two loops and I could continue like that instead of stopping and record all of them um, effectively 
um, live without preparing it uh, before. And I could take different tries because you can swipe down, clear it, etc., etc. And then I would continue like so. So let me remove now the um, the metronome playing and let's bring up Alpha next and uh, I would record something there. So you can use this way to uh, set it up up front and then record one loop after the other without stopping. And of course, when you have done all of that, then uh, you can uh, use the buttons here to the left and move from one effectively seen set of clips to the next one. So as you can see, it's very simple and hopefully if you followed also the previous tutorial, you should be able to recreate these uh, very quickly and actually go beyond these and create more sophisticated uh, uh, scenarios and example where you can trigger, for example, preloaded uh, um, loops, which could be, for example, backgrounds uh, or music backgrounds uh, to, to your choice. Uh, but that's a way that you can use Loop Pro to bring in it uh, to your band and you have all of that uh, pre-recorded in the studio and you can do that easily from one loop to the next or you can record one instrument after the next clicking on the next uh, um, loop as i demonstrated so hopefully this answer the question asked but i'm happy to also create additional tutorial okay thank you very much bye